What's going on everyone? Glad to see you come back and uh, check out the channel, but today I was talking to a good buddy. He had some questions for me uh, regarding uh, compression, how compressors work. So, uh, sent him a text, all that stuff, lined him out, but uh, I figured this would be a good topic and a good video we could possibly do for today. So, it will be short, sweet, to the point, and uh, if you're a little foggy on it, if, especially if you're a production operator, uh, hopefully this will make sense to you, um, or help the light bulb moment go off. Uh, it took me quite a while to get it, but once somebody I actually had somebody good explain to me what was actually going on, made a world of difference. So the reason we use gas compressors in oil field operations is to convert, or what we're doing is taking molecules of gas and packing it tighter, which in essence creates a higher pressure. So you can move more, uh, more gas efficiently through a pipeline system. So basically what we do is, if you see my prior videos, in, in production operations we work from highest pressure work down. So when we do that, now in order to sell the gas efficiently and move it to where we need to transport it via the pipelines, we have to take that pressure back up. So what we do is we have a compressor that will be set on a pad. Now these compressors range they vary in size depending on the application and what we need done. Sorry, it's getting a little warm in here. Um, anyway, so what you'll have basically is you'll have an inlet on the, well, let's take a step back. On a compressor, you've got two parts to it. You've got the drivetrain, which is your engine that runs, runs the unit, and then you have the compression side. Engine side is just like running a bulldozer, or any natural gas, I mean a gasoline car, same concept other than we run on natural gas. Um, pretty self-explanatory, kind of like, you know, the pickups in the 80s and 90s. Uh, they used to have them where they could run on propane. It, it's the same concept. On the compression side, what you do is have gas coming in. Generally, that gas is gonna come in at around 30 to 50 pounds. Now, a good rule of thumb to keep in the back of your mind when you're thinking of this is you work in stages of three. Okay, so the gas is gonna come in, just just say at 50 pounds. It's gonna go through, we've got three stages total. The first stage, you're, it's gonna mash the gas and it's gonna take you up to 150 pounds. Okay, so it's gonna go through that cylinder, it's gonna compress it into 150 pounds. Then it goes through a series of coolers to cool the gas. Then it's gonna go into our second stage that second stage is going to mash the gas up to about 450 to 600 pounds depending on what your third stage is which is your final so after it's smashed in the second stage runs back through the cooler cools the gas goes into stage three where it's mashed for the final time now at this point it's going to mash it up to whatever your pipeline pressure is for instance if your pipeline's sitting at a thousand pounds as soon as it comes out of the third stage it's going into your pipeline um, if you use it in other applications or you have a preference, you can set it at, let's just say 1250 if you're going to use it for a gas lifting system, which I'll do another video uh, here soon, just, uh, talking about gas lift, how, how it works, and all that good stuff. But you can set the back pressure on that to hold your compressor back at 1250, so it's not going to, the, the back pressure is going to hold against your third stage till a set pressure and at that point it opens and it goes down to its final destination so that's compression in a nutshell um, I try to make it simple easy there's more stuff to it obviously you've got screwers on each um, on each stage of compression in order if so if there is any liquid dropouts or anything like that it's going to drain out of the system and not tear your valves up etc etc so yeah, that's gas compressors in a nutshell. It's less than five minutes. Um, I, th I think uh, that's kind of what I described to my buddy and I think it helped him. So maybe somebody will get something out of this. I know it was pretty foggy and tough for me to understand. Uh, once I finally had the light bulb moment, it, uh, yeah, you got it from there. So any questions, uh, leave me some comments and uh, catch you guys later.